Welcome, in this video I'm going to be making a solar panel extension cable, and to do that I'm going to be using this Bouge RV solar crimper toolkit, and I'll be using this, I don't know how to say this, but this is a 14 gauge parallel wire, and I'll get into this in a minute. But if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase these, I'll put a link to them in the description, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So there are lots of kits available. I went with Bouge RV. I've used some of their other, I have their sunshade and some solar mounts, so I figured I'd give their kit a go. So let's get this open. So this kit has the crimpers, it has some MC4 connector tools, and then here we have connectors. Now I'm not seeing any instructions here, so I guess you're kind of on your own. So I'm kind of winging it here, I guess. And let's get this cable out. So this is 20 foot of 12 gauge cable, and it says parallel. So this is actually a pair of wires. And this is a silicone wire, so it's very durable, very heat resistant. So it says 12 gauge, 200 C. But I've used this cable before, and I was very happy with it. Voltage rating is 600 volts, and it's a tinned copper wire. So I'm probably going to actually put connectors on both ends of this wire. So I'll have a 20 foot extension cord. Now this is going to a 100 watt panel for like when I'm camping, I want to have the solar panel outside and then have my battery inside my tent. Now if I want a shorter cable later, I can always cut it somewhere else and make the cable shorter. So let's take a look at these crimpers. So these crimpers are locked. If I want to unlock them, I'll squeeze them. I have another set that are similar to this. And then they have a compound action to them. So the jaws here are labeled. They say 2.54 and six millimeters squared. So they are labeled for metric. We'll see how well they work with what I'm working with. And then we have the MC4 connector tools. Let me dig into the connectors a little bit. So I was looking at the Amazon description. It sounds like the connectors are all the same size. So here we have the connectors and we have the terminals. Pull these apart. So these will unscrew and that's where these tools come into play. They fit over the end like that to tighten them down. You can also stick them in there. These here I think release. So when you have these clipped in, you can use this to help release the connectors. Okay, so here we have a little grommet seal. And we have plastic here, and that presses against here. So when you tighten this down, that's going to compress that rubber and press against the cable. So that's where you get your watertight seal. So I'm going to go gather my wire cutters and crimpers and some other things, and then we'll crimp up a pair of cables. Okay, so I've gathered some tools to start crimping these. So we have the male and female connectors, and something that can be a little confusing is that the male plastic connector goes to the female metal connector, or terminal, and then the male terminal goes in the female side. So since I'm going to be making an extension cable, I don't really care about the colors of these wires to some extent. It is nice using a pair of wires with different colors because I want a male on one end and female on the other, so since I have a red and a black, I can make sure I have the opposite connector on the opposite end here. So if I put a male here on the other end of the red, I'll put a female. So I do want to separate these a little bit. So I'm just going to take these flush cut pliers and I'll cut down the middle. I might just be able to do it by hand too. And I'll pull that down. Now, so these don't separate out a lot. I'm going to be using this heat shrink tubing. And I just have some half sections here. These are some scraps. And I'll slide that over. Maybe go down, say about six inches. And this is wire fee heat shrink tubing and it has glue in it. So I'll shrink that on there. And that will hopefully keep this from peeling back too far. So I'll put this on the other end. So it doesn't matter right now which side I put where. Now I may need to put these on, let me look. Okay, so I don't have to slide this on. So I could put these on ahead of time and then crimp the connector on, but it looks like these will slide over after I crimp the connector on. But that's something to keep in mind. Since this is 14 gauge wire, I'll strip it back. I'm going to strip it back maybe three eighths of an inch or so. Now I'm going to take the terminal and I will put these in the crimper. And this is 14 gauge wire, so I want to crimp using the 2.5, which is this one, the smallest one here. So I'm going to prep this by starting it in here. May need to bend this in a little bit with my fingers. So I could 
slide this over the wire and then try and put the crimper on it. But I find it's easier to put this in the crimper and then put the wire in it. So I have that lined up, but I like to twist this first so it doesn't fray out. And I'll get this lined up again. Then I will stick it in here. So you want it to go out the end. So I'm going to crimp this and then I'll show what the crimp looks like. So I'm having to use both hands on this. Well, I got that crimped, but it crimped kind of weird. Maybe that was the wrong size die for this. But you can see that's crimped, but it kind of folded on the back side. Let's we'll see if this fits on here now. So this needs the male plastic part. So I'll slide this connector over. I'll slide this over and I'll slide the rubber over like so. And I'll assemble that together. And then this will fit in here. So this will click in. So it looks like that protrusion's getting in the way. I'm going to bend that. Actually, I'll try crimping it with a larger size. And that should click in there. This cable's not super stiff, so I'm just going to press it in with some pliers. Okay, so I got that clicked in. I can line up the seal. And now I'll tighten this down. To make sure it's fully tight, I'll use the tool. So I'll slide this over the end, and I'll tighten this until it slips. Now it's fully tightened, and we have our connector made. So I'm going to do the same thing to the black wire here. I am going to try crimping this with the 4 instead of the 2.5, and see how that does. Okay, so that was a much better crimp using the four millimeter. So I had looked up a chart with American wire gauge to metric and it said 2.5, maybe the chart was wrong, but this seems to be a very good crimp on the middle here. Okay, so I have that pair made. Now let's go to the other end of the wire. Okay, so here I'm at the other end of the wire. I'm going to cut a clean end on here. See if I can pull these apart easily. Oh yeah, put that heat shrink tubing on. I'm going to grab another set of connectors. This is where we want to pay special attention. So I have the red male here. I want to have red female here. And female plastic is male conductor. Okay, so a simple test here is to connect these. We have red to red, so we know this is connected properly. 
Now to disconnect them, I can press in here where I can use the tool. You can do it like this or like this. Let's try this one. So now I just have one more to connect up. And I do want to point out that the black cable has red in the middle where it separates out. So that could cause some confusion. So when I'm crimping that, there's a lot of tension on here and then it gives and it crimps quickly. If you're not careful, you could accidentally pull this out. So you want to make sure your hands are real steady while you're working with this. And then when you put these on, make sure you have these parts on because if you clip this in and you don't have these parts on, you're gonna have to recrimp your connector and you'll waste a terminal. Okay, so there we have our extension cable. Now I want to point out, this is not any kind of solar rated cable. This is just silicon wire. So this would be for like temporary use. Like when I go camping, I'm going to hook this up. You'd want to use different wire if you're doing a permanent solar installation. But silicon wire tends to be very durable, UV resistant, and I think this is gonna work great for my application. Now these colors are matching up. If you were to use a cable that has the same color on both ends, you could use a multimeter to check for continuity to make sure you have it connected up properly. And you could even still do the same thing with wire like this to make sure it's wired right. So now I have a 20 foot extension cable. I can plug the panel in outside of my tent and then connect it up to the battery inside of my tent. And there's multiple reasons you'd want to do that. Probably one of the biggest is to keep the battery out of the heat because the solar panel will be in the direct sun in the heat and you really want to keep your battery cool. Also, some of my solar panels are waterproof and I can leave those out in the rain or the weather and my battery I can have inside protected from the weather. So that's using the Bouge RV solar connector crimper kit to make a extension cable with this silicon wire. This went fairly well. I started off a little rough by using the wrong connector size. That would have probably been helped if it came with instructions, but it didn't. But hopefully this helps other people. And this was for this 14 gauge wire. If you're using a different wire size, you may need a different crimp die here, but this seemed to work well for me. But otherwise I'd say this kit worked fairly well. It comes with six pairs of connectors, so you can make three extension cords or hook up other solar things with it. So this could be a good repair kit. So after you use them, you could refill these and then you can put this in your truck or RV or something. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.